All right, what is up everybody? I hope you're all doing well. Today we are checking out the Silk Tone Overdrive Plus. This is a really dynamic, uh, very versatile overdrive pedal in my humble opinion. It'll basically cover anything from always on, you know, kind of tone enhancing, very low gain to big uh, like chug uh, crunch tones. Uh, that still stay really clear, uh, all the way to just super high gain, just full on, almost fuzz territory. It's an overdrive, but to me, it also can kind of get into that distortion territory, but a really great sounding distortion pedal. It just covers like a really broad uh, range of tones. If you're not familiar with Silk Tone, they are a small boutique builder out of uh, California, Charles Henry is the main uh, builder and designer there. They build everything one at a time. Um, so that's that's their deal. Definitely go to the website and check things out. But uh, back to the pedal. What's on top of this thing? It has a volume, we all know what that does. It has a tone control. We'll check out the sweep of that in the demo. And then of course it has a gain control. We know what that does. We'll check out the amount of gain from off to all the way up in the demo. It's got two toggle switches. The one on the left is basically a low end cut switch. Um, so to the left, it's gonna cut some low end to bring some clarity out, but to the right, it's gonna be big and fat and open. We'll check how that sounds. On the right side, you have a clipping switch. When it's to the left, it's asymmetrical, which is gonna be more open and dynamic. To the right is symmetrical. That's gonna be a little bit less gain uh, and a little bit more controlled, maybe a little bit more compressed feeling. We will definitely check that out in the demo. There's a boost on the left that has its own switch on off. And you can see that that has a toggle switch between uh, strangle and raw. When it's in the raw position, it's it's basically just an open push, you know, boost. When it's in the strangle position, then it brings in an inductor, almost like a half cocked watt kind of thing. And we'll definitely check that out in the demo, but that boost section of the pedal sounds fabulous. And then of course on the right is your, your bypass uh, for the whole pedal. Uh, this does run on nine volt, but from what I can understand, it charge pumps or boosts up to 30 volt. Uh, so yeah, with uh, without further yammering on, which is what I've been doing this whole time, further, uh, let's check out the Silk Tone Overdrive Plus. All right, I am down for some sound. That's goofy. Uh, here's just the guitar into the amp for your reference as per usual. Here is the uh, Silk Tone Overdrive Plus.
sloppy uh, noodling and carrying on so that you guys can just kind of hear some of the basic settings. As you probably noticed, this is very versatile. It's super dialable. I mean, I'm able to drag this from, you know, kind of the, the crunch rhythm thing I was doing that was kind of heavier, but still remained clear with those chords I was playing. That's kind of what inspired me. It's like the things I demo, you know, what I write for the demo is always inspired by whatever it is I'm demoing. And that's what I noticed right away with this was the clarity almost at any gain setting um, I was able to, to get clarity, but still play these big chords. But at the same time, I could turn the gain way down and use it almost as like an always on kind of tone enhancer. Um, yeah, let's say it's a very dynamic pedal. The uh, This boost mode is really cool. So let's do this. Um, I'm just gonna go through, cause I kind of covered everything it can do just in all that noodling. But let's go back to the off setting and we'll just go through these uh, these switches first. I'll kind of I'll try and dial it up so you guys can hear uh, what's going on from there. Let's look at this uh, cut switch. It's basically just cutting lows. So for me, I liked it best when it was just wide open. In other words, no, uh, no low end cut whatsoever. But as I turn the gain up, I would immediately reach for it just so it'd be clear and I wouldn't have to reach for the tone to make it brighter. It's voiced really well. So I'll start with it on, or I should say, I'll start with it not cutting any low end. <laughs> That's apparent, but let me turn the gain up and, and it'll, it'll kind of, you know, per personify, it'll solidify, it'll magnify. You'll understandify what I'm, what I'm talking about as far as when the gain's hotter, um, this becomes even more useful. <laughs> That's just a cool, quick shaping tool. Um, I always appreciate those types of tweaks uh, that are switchable within a circuit, especially within just workflow. It, it really helps. Let's look at this clipping. Uh, this clipping switch when it's to the left is asymmetrical. When it's to the right, it's symmetrical. Asymmetrical is my favorite, to be honest with you. Uh, it's more dynamic, it's more open. And in my humble opinion, it's a little more kind of tube-like. But the smooth is kind of cool too, especially for soloing. It's a little more compressed, a little more kind of controlled. Um, uh, let's, let's just swing that. I'll, let's put the gain. I'll just put it there. Okay, so right now we're in the bigger asymmetrical setting to the left. <laughs> Sorry, I'll put this switch back to the not cutting low end. So right away, it's a little bit less gain, a little more compressed, a little more controlled.
obviously less apparent when the gain is down. But once you get up around noon, that's when you'll hear and feel that. That's a really nice setting. So that's what that's doing. Um, I'm gonna just sweep the, there's tons of volume on tap for sure. Um, I'll just kind of sweep this really quick, tone, volume, and gain. Tone, volume, and gain. <laughs> and then, you know, you guys can check it out. I'll start with the volume. Right there's about unity. At about noon, we're we're pushing the amp pretty good. So obviously that's to taste. If you want it to bump hot or cool, if you want it to be unity, that's great. I also really everything on a lot of pedals like this is a tone control. So, you know, I like to have the volume a little bit hotter around, around there. So that's what that's doing. Let's sweep the tone off. So pretty usable tone control doesn't get super strident, uh, strident when it's like dimed, but it will get really dark. So if you've got, you know, bright guitar, bright amp, uh, very usable. Uh, let's sweep the gain. So a good amount of gain on tap, but you can get more. Let's hit the uh, let's hit this boost switch. We'll start in the raw mode, and then we'll check out the strangle mode. <laughs> Obviously a lot of boost, way more gain than I would ever need, and I would think for most it's quite a bit of gain. Uh, it does add some low end because it is a wide open, just straight ahead boost. Let's check out the strangle uh, mode. That's more of like, a, it adds kind of an inductor, well, it's not kind of, it is an inductor circuit, kind of a half cocked wah kind of thing, so check it out. like a like a treble booster but it's not enough treble to call it a treble booster um, but I, I immediately when I turned that on you know and that's why I did that kind of harmony section and as I, I thought immediately Brian May it's not quite that bright but you can dial the tone up and the gain down a little bit and get into that kind of treble booster uh, territory <laughs> So 
so that's a really fun setting. Uh, and once again, it makes the pedal kind of unique and just more dialable as far as what you can uh, drag out of it. So that is the, uh, the Silk Tone Overdrive Plus. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you've got any other questions about this pedal, definitely go to the website and check it out. Charles uh, actually did a video talking about it. He also, just in the ad copy, kind of talks about the whole idea behind the pedal. So if you want to learn more about the actual circuit and everything that's going on inside it, uh, definitely check that out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please uh, consider doing that. It really helps me out. And hit that like button, helps the algorithm. And please comment below and let me know uh, what you think of this pedal. And as I said before, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.